Hey guys, if you're looking for some Star Wars Destiny content, unfortunately this video is not for you. This is for people who want to play the new Transformers trading card game by Wizards of the Coast on Tabletop Simulator. So if you have no idea what Tabletop Sim is and how to get things loaded in, I'm your man, I've got you covered. So if you have no idea what this is, Tabletop Simulator is a game where people make content for where you can play board games, miniatures games, card games, just all form of games really it's, it's great so get this bought get this downloaded now once that is downloaded you can go over to community here and click on workshops once the workshops tab is open again search for tabletop simulator and this is where you get all your plugins for the various different games as you can see there is a buttload so click on card games to narrow the search and I like to use Star Wars Destiny mod for reasons that I'll explain when we actually get into Tabletop Simulator. And this is the one to use. This is the mod made by Ice Cobra. You click on it here and you go down to subscribe and you can subscribe to the mod and then it will download all the necessary files for this mod. Once you've done that, follow this link that's in the description and download this file from Google Drive. This is a JS ON file. Now what this file contains is all the cards or the transformers for the game. So I've been uploading them into Tabletop Simulator from the Gen Con images and from the scans that people have now been doing. Um, so this file is going to constantly be updated as uh, more spoilers become available and obviously when boosters finally come out and the game is officially out we'll get all the cards scanned in for you to play. So at the moment we've got a very limited card base, but it's enough for you to get a flavor of the game. So get this file downloaded. Once you've got that file downloaded from your downloads folder or wherever you chose to put it, you need to move it into games, tabletop simulator, saves, saved objects. Now you can make a folder. I made a transformers folder and then I saved my transformers TCG JSNO file in here. So this is now means that this file is ready to rock and roll in Tabletop Simulator. So welcome to Tabletop Simulator. This is the first screen you'll be greeted with. What we're going to do is we're going to create a game, single player. This loads up all the various mods that are available and any workshop ones you've got. So we'll click on our Star Wars Destiny mod and we'll load this in. So now we're loaded in. This is why I like the mod here. But actually, fuck that. Right, first of all, we're in the mod. This is We've got a table. So what you need to do is click on objects, saved objects, go to your transformers folder, and you either click on it or you can drag it in. And this is that file you just downloaded. You've got yourself a dice bag. Within that dice bag, you click and drag our three more dice bags. So we will delete this one. Dice bag number one, we have the boards. So you can play with these boards. Unfortunately, I can't remember the name of the guy who made these boards. This is one he loaded into Tabletop Simulator with the first JSNO file that I, before I edited it. And this one's quite nice because the actual um, the transformers will kind of like, as you can see, magnetize to the zones. Where this one, I just kind of uploaded the file in. I'm not clever enough to do that code. <laughs> but if you want to use these boards, you can obviously use these boards. So let's get those boards out of the way. Right. So we in this one here, we have got all of spoiled transformers that are available. Um, I've just loaded in Shockwave, as you can see. If you want to zoom in on a card like that, just mouse over, hold Alt, and it zooms in. If you mouse over a card and press F, it flips it over. And again, you can be holding Alt and press F to flip the card over. Uh, and there you go. That's obviously what the cards look like when they're nice and scanned. And this is what they look like from the photographs. Done our best to make them at least readable and playable. And in this one here, we've got all the battle cards that we have got available at the moment. So these are the ones that come in the starter set and any that have been spoiled throughout Gen Con. So these are starter set ones. And here's a couple that... Um, I got spot on drink on again i kind of edited them made my own little template there to make that one nice and readable that one was pretty readable anyway 
and these ones are the um, other scans. So there's the cards. Right, why do we use the Star Wars Destiny mod? Obviously, when we load it in, we've got this little thing here first. If we click on two-player game, we can spawn how many characters we want. I doubt you're ever going to get a Transformers team with five or more Transformers. If you can, okay. But let's say uh, we're going to have a three versus three matchup. We'll spawn this in. So these little character boards are quite nice because they have room for your character and they've got the three upgrade slots here for our weapon, our utility, and our armor. And down here, we've got damage. So if you click on it once, you get a one. Click on it a second time. You get a three, click on a third time and it clears it. So as you can see, we can quite easily track the damage for each of our transformers. So what I'll do is I'm going to load in uh, my Dinobot deck that I've been working on. So I'll pull out three Dinobots and then we can pop our deck there. Get that deleted. Um, if you mouse over something and you press R, shuffles, to randomize it, we'll shuffle that all up. And um, how many cards you draw? Four, is it? I can't remember. <laughs> Let's just draw four cards up. Uh, we see this double image here. If we press H, it hides the hand. Um, if we're moving around the screen with our WAS keys here, uh, it, it, they are obviously hidden, and our hand is just in our hand there. But if we press H, our hand follows us. And again, with our hand position here, we can mouse over, press Alt, and we can see the hand. And if we hide it, again, we can do it from here. We can flip our cards over, and if I just uh, change change color over to the other side of the board, uh, you can't manipulate your opponent's hand. So you can't pull the cards out, you can't flip them and try and cheat. So it's quite good. Anyway, back over here. That's not a feature of just the Styles Destiny mod. That's just a feature of the game itself. Anyway, so like I say, we've got our three slots here, so that we can put down a uh, an upgrade, give them a uh, give them some armor, and there we go. And also give us like a weapon. Um, a little tip here, you've got this 90 degrees up here. I can't remember if that's set to 90 degrees, but if you click on it, you can change the, the degrees that it turns. All that means is when you mouse over a card and you press either Q or E, it then obviously turns it. If we only had 15 degrees, it only turned 15 degrees. So 90 degrees is nice for the full tap. Uh, and then we've got the damage cards, the damage tokens I've talked about. Alt over a card, or if you press M and magnifies, but obviously Alt is a lot better, brings the card, and you use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out on the magnification. Um, if you want to make the cards for a smaller on field, you can just mouse over it and press your plus or your minuses. Uh, if you want to then standardize it, bang it back on one of your other ones. Um, and then, yeah, so you, you've obviously got here, you can discard a card from random from your hand if there's any features in the game. I don't think there is at the moment. That does that, then might be, uh, and you can obviously shuffle your hand, randomize it, draw more cards, um, and there you go. So that is the that's tabletop simulator in a nutshell, and also why I like the Star Wars Destiny mod. So again, you can use the boards, um, but I quite like these little boards. And if you want to get rid of one of these, these get rid of these. You can just right click on it, go on toggles, unlock it because that's locked, and then you can move it now. See, these boards are locked you can't grab and move them unless you toggle and and lock them so if you do really want if you if you do want to play a multiple game without having to uh spawn it all in again you can just copy the board and stick it down then we'll lock them in place there we go so you can fit four transformers in there uh, you can delete that again if you want it but there you go that's the tabletop simulator mod so enjoy if you've got any questions i am octobit i'm octobit on discord um i'm obviously on steam on here looking to play some people i barely know the rules of this game I've, all i've been doing is uploading the bloody cards into this mod so it'd be great to play some games uh, if you've got any questions i'm on facebook i'm on discord discord feel free to ask me and um don't be a fucking idiot and play autobots and septicons on the same team yeah